Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Dad's been busy in his shop. We got our wheels and tires mounted and he's got these gear about 99% done. They are looking good too. Our wheels and tires came out good. I'm going to paint these nuts or have that powder coat or something so they match a little better. But uh, what's that Dad? Speak up. Oh. And we, we got our Festo fittings all on there. We got a junction block. But we'll flip that up and uh, show you that in a minute. Well, we got our brakes all hooked up. I want to show you the little channel Dad made on the bottom. And the brake lines come out right there. And uh, you can't see no brake lines. I think that looks pretty slick. And we're actually going to run the hose right next to the shaft. and. It won't be that noticeable. And then up here and then up through there. It'll look pretty good. But I really like that. You can, you can just barely see where the hose comes out and hooks onto the wheels. It looks awesome. These are ball bearing wheels. These things roll good too. Brakes work awesome. We already had it hooked up. But we're going to flip her up here and hook the air to them. I was reading an article on, in a magazine about them uh, hydraulic units that we have and this old boy has them on his jet but he made a little accumulator and it says they work a little better so we're going we're gonna to try that method and we're going to get all these hooked up on hydraulics as soon as we're completely done working on them. I don't want to hook them up and disconnect them and have hydraulic fluid everywhere but we're going to have them working on hydraulics. Go ahead and hit the air to him there, Dad. That's a hundred pounds of pressure. And just pulls them right up and then they'll fold in there flat. And man, man, them things work good. Alright. Let them down. Now hook it on the downside. Let's show them the locks. And show them how it pushes that down and pushes that right there and look at that, that thing is locked solid and dad has got this, he's been working on this gear for eight months and uh, man, he's just re been remaking pieces, remember that big old bucket of scrap I showed you? But look at that, there is no slop in there at all it is all just solid and uh, I think they're going to work out be a nice set of gear, he's back got my nose gear done too and uh, we're changing a couple things on there to get a more positive lock and uh, but we got it figured out and we've been working on it and I've been working on my wings this is my uh, third coat of primer and I got my big old pencil marks worked down the little tiny ones but I went ahead and got me some black primer instead of that white stuff that white stuff didn't show up very good but this is probably my last coat and man do I got her slick but I still got some places to fix, see? When you use that prime, that black stuff, you can see every, every little mark in it. And I, got, I just got a few here and there. So most of them I sanded out. But some, see, I'm going to have to fill that one. That one borderline. I'm going to, I might be able to sand that. But a lot of this I can sand out. That, that one I can't. You just gotta kind of decide if you can fill them or sand them. What you don't want to do is just grab your piece of paper and do like that because then you'll just have a big divot. I use a block sander. But I've been working using mostly, besides my big one, I don't know where it went. Oh, that one's too big. I got, oh, I think it's in the sink. But this hunk right here, this thing works real good. See the bad thing with these small uh, sandal blocks, they kind of bend. And at this stage, yeah, that's it, Dad. At this stage, we don't want that. But uh, this is what I mainly used with that 220. I'm going to tell you something. This thing is nice, but it'll work you to death. My arms are so sore. But I mainly did it with that, and that dude is flat. I did it twice, two coats with 220 with this, and it is flat. But now as I got 
just a couple little spots that I can mainly sand out. But what I don't want to do is start sanding through my primer again. Because now, all i got to do is fix these little spots and uh, with some Bondo and then sand it and then just spot prime it. As long as I don't start going through everywhere again. So I'm going to get Dad to hold the camera. Here, come over on this side, Dad. This is the side we need to work on. We're going to try this has the tripod. And you see these spots up here? Let's see if we can't sand some of them out. I'm using 600 grit and you just got a long strokes like that. And I actually I keep my swim up just down here. This is my sponge. I keep it in the bottom of my bucket so I can just kind of rub my paper on there and clean it off. But the ones that you know are going to need some attention, some filler. You just don't want to keep sanding because you'll you'll sand through it in places. And if you got to fill it, you got to fill it. The main thing is flat. Now when I get to it done with this stage here and I get it filled and I get the spots primed in, it'll be ready for the panel lines. So I am getting close, but the, the, the nicer I get these wings, the better my parts will come out and the less work it will take to get each set of wings painted. The work's going to be there, might as well just get it out of the way now. Come stank Dad. That's right. See, I got this little spot here. Can you see that? I think I could sand most of that out. I'm going to try and sand on that for a minute. doing this extra step you guys will not believe how much it'll help out your paint jobs and it just makes it to where you can see every every little every little divot every low spot shows up I got my, all my high spots taken care of with that big old block sander so now I'm just working on the low spots how they paint them Corvettes in the body shop. Ain't no reason you can't make your jet looking like that. This takes a lot of work to do. It pays off at the end. Yeah. Yeah. 
As you can see now, them down, I'm going to, I'm going to hit them with a little dab of primer. But I mean, uh, light filler. Um, this is the stuff I'm going to use. When I get down to this small, tiny stuff, this stuff works fantastic. It's Bondo, but it's super thin, and just really gets them small places really good, and it feathers out nice. But uh, that's kind of where we're at, folks. And uh, Dad just brought them gear over this morning, so we wanted to give you a heads up. Our landing gear is finished. We haul. And uh, this plane's coming right along. We're, we're trucking now. Yeah, this is the little junction box Dad made for the top to hook everything up. So now we just got one up, one down. It's looking good. So until next week, folks, we will see you in the shop.